What's going on, everybody? So real quick, man, you know, I already had to do a little reaction, talk to my fans about this little clown, No Limit Jackie. So as you guys know, this clown Friday, I guess, came off the plane, called, did some FaceTime, did some uh, stuff on stories or on his stories or whatever, saying, hey, I'm at a McDonald's, come through right now, you pussy, you this, you that, you're not showing up. Mind you, I'm blocked. Whether it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I don't know when he posts. I have three different accounts. I have my personal account. I have my music account. I cannot see any of them because y'all know if it's all logged on on your phone and if a person blocks you once, you're blocked everywhere. Whatever. I'm taking a nap. I wake up. It's about 40, 50 messages on my text messages on my Instagram sending me the videos that he's sending. Cool. Challenge accepted. Now, let me explain to you guys something. A person that wants you to go to an airport with a bunch of feds and cops at a McDonald's to fight you is a scared person, is an undercover cop, which they are. Now, I understand why they said McDonald's because his fat ass brother probably wanted a cheeseburger, hamburger, some french fries. Cause you know, whenever they think about fighting, every, anything that comes up in his mind, he just gets hungry. That's the reason all them bullets went in his ass and instead of him shrinking weight, he even blew up more. But, at the end of the day, you're a coward if you're going to call somebody to a McDonald's. What he basically wants to do is throw one swing and everybody else is going to stop us, call the cops because he knows that's it. What I did is on some real G shit. I went to his old gym that he sold because he's bankrupt. I went to the parking lot where it's a dead end in the back. I went on live by myself. No straps, no guns, no knives because at the end of the day... I'm a man, he's a woman, we were just going to fight, one-on-one, -on -one. we would not stop till one of us is on the floor, unconscious and bleeding, and then one of us will walk away. Both like men, like they've done hundreds and thousands of years, like they do everywhere else, that's a respectful thing. Now, since y'all know I've been to prison, let me give y'all a little understanding of something. In jail, they have two different types of inmates. They have the inmates that if they have a problem with you, they'll go in a cell, close that door, and go at it with you until one of you guys is dead or knocked out because nobody can come out. And they got the other inmate who has a problem with you. He's not going to say a word if you're calling him out. He's not going to come. But as soon as a cop comes to do count time or pass out lunches or sick call, he's going to take off on you in front of that cop because he knows. One swing... And he's protected by the law. That's called the PC move. Now, we all know that this guy is PC. He's a woman beater. He's a snitch. He can never go to jail because they will stick him. Because, but he won't even make it because he'll go straight to PC. And he has the nerve to, oh, you snitch, you that. Bro, you and your brother shot somebody five years ago. Y'all still not in jail. Think about all the telling you guys did. I've seen the paperwork. You're calling me to a McDonald's to fight me. I went to your gym by myself on live 55 minutes. 20 people showed up that were watching that live to come hang out with me. We were about to do a barbecue. Last time it was a Mexican hangout. This time it was going to be an Armenian hangout. Oh no Limit Jack didn't come, but all the real ones pulled up. You already know. I'm just saying it. Uh, shout out to my boy right here. Hey, Alex. This is the homie that sucked out that bitch ass boy that with the taco stand guy. So shout out to my boy right here. I'm finna tag him too. Shout out to all of the Rasa too. You already know all of us Armenians fuck with y'all. Bro, you're an embarrassment to yourself. Everybody was watching. You never showed up. Somebody that hates me so bad that he could get off the airport and not wait to see me. But he goes to a McDonald's to fight me. If, if you hate me that bad, bro, you have no problem to go to your old gym that you lost because you're bankrupt. And come see me. But in reality, you didn't want to. I showed you I was alone. I didn't go with nobody. I didn't go with no backup like these other clowns do. Because people call me for backup. G-Face don't call nobody for backup. Everybody that even hates me will tell you that. Facts are facts. While we were there, I met the homie Mac. Solid dude. That new gym owner that bought the shit. 
He said, I'm going to be the first. I told him, I'm going to come work out in this gym to show you love. I'm, I'm going to take over No Limit when that chunk is gone. With that said, you clown. I messaged him today. He messages me back again. Says, hey, tomorrow I'm going to leave my location open. If you don't come, you're... You already know I'm not going to cuss on this YouTube because I can't keep getting monetized. But he says this to me and he blocks me. Check out the messages. And open the dog's door so this idiot could come. He's barking. How do you tell somebody, come tomorrow, see me. I'm going to leave my location open. If you don't come, you're this and that. And then block me. How am I supposed to see your location? I'm not Houdini. I don't own iPhone, Instagram for me to actually log in and see it. You guys, this is a definition of a clown. He posts these stuff on his stories because that's his defense mechanism. But in reality, I always come with receipts. Hey, shut up, little piece of shit. Come here. I always come with receipts. Come here, little Jackie. Come here. Come here. Come here. I always come with receipts. Always. If I don't have receipts, I'm not going to speak out of my mind. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here, Chloe. Good girl. Come here. But anyways, you're a clown. Your whole life you've been a clown. 21-year-old girls are using you like a little stick. Taking all your money for them and their sister. You're buying all their clothes. Whenever you don't behave, they out you to the entire world. Call the police. Have their boyfriend beat your ass but they know you're a druggie. You're probably gonna be in your little Versace thong with a knife on your stomach. I can't breathe. I don't wanna live here no more. I don't wanna live here. I'm gonna shave my beard. Bro, you're a clown. Stop it. So, I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna be monetized for you and me. Let's, you and I, make a celebrity boxing match. No ring, no nothing. We could do it like on the streets like they do on these YouTube accounts. Everything legal. I will put up $100,000 cash. Cash. To you. You ain't got no money, so you don't need to put up. You're in bankruptcy. I'm going to help you. You and I, one-on-one, -on -one, me and you. Hold up. What's up? It's challenge accepted. Because all this, let's meet up at Burger King or let's meet up at Jack in the Box or let's meet up at Del Taco, depending on what food your fat Pillsbury Doughboy brother wants to eat. Because you already know he's in the car with the camera recording. He's, he's a fed. He's snitching on Edgar. By the way, you guys, Jack Torosian's brother, Robert Torosian, is a rat. He's snitching on the homie Edgar, lying on him, saying that he shot. He's already testified. We got all the transcripts. We're just waiting, you know, for everybody to take their deals and this court to be closed. And all of that stuff will be world record. Everybody will see it. It'll be on every page. It'll be on all of my pages. That's for damn sure. It's public record. Nobody do anything about it. But with that said, I'm going to let the fans decide what's right, what's wrong. If you're the type of person that thinks calling somebody to a McDonald's by an airport with full of feds is okay, then you're a coward. Huh. But if you're one of the real ones, and you don't think that's right, I respect you, I salute you. G-Face, out.